Hey y'all, cooking, cutting up, keeping it real. Just wanted to pop live. I'm finishing up my last batch of Christmas cookies. I did a video. I'll post that for y'all so you can see the recipe. Um, but I wanted to tell you guys, if you will send, if you have your a favorite dish for Christmas, last year we did cookie recipes and we got tons of them and we posted them on the page. Um, if you have a favorite Christmas dish, whether it be dessert, main dish, a side, an appetizer, whatever that is, and you want to send that in to the email address at cookingcuttingup at gmail.com, we would love to see them and we can post them on the page for other people to enjoy and give, give them a try. Also, um, I was going to tell y'all something. What was it? Oh, enjoyed on Thursday, went and shopped all day with my best good friend Winifred to finish up Christmas shopping. Got that done, so I got to do some wrapping. And yet you guys saw a picture too of my uh, goddaughter had a baby named Jack. He is precious, almost six weeks old. And we can't wait to snuggle and hug, hug on him on Christmas Eve. Um, we do, I do Christmas Eve dinner with, um, some family and some friends and then oh lord i'm about to drop that um so we'll look forward to seeing him then so i what's your favorite dishes for christmas send them in let us see them let us post them for other people to try and enjoy that would be awesome and what y'all doing on this saturday who else is christmas bacon today i would love to know and what's your bacon mm-hmm what are we making? Stacy? I have made chocolate chip cookies and put um, green and, um, I about said yellow, green and red M&Ms in them to make them look Christmassy, and I'm making them for my neighbors. Mm-hmm. Just a little something sweet to take to them this time of year. And this is my last batch going into the oven. I did do a video, and I'll post it for y'all so y'all can see the recipe. It's a really good one. My mama's... Uh, chocolate chip cookie recipe. Stacy said she did the same thing. Yeah, I love doing homemade gifts um, for my neighbors and close friends. It's awesome, and they enjoy it, and they can eat it. And let me pop these in the oven. They gotta go in for nine minutes. I have to set the timer, because I'm like Pavlov's dog. I'll I, I gotta have a timer that beeps for me to cue in to, oh, that beeps, what, what am I supposed to do, whether I'm supposed to fold clothes or whether I'm supposed to get something out of the oven. I have to have a beep. Anyway, um, so that's what I'm doing in my kitchen today. Four batches of cut out dough in the fridge. Wow, you've been busy then, Stacy, hadn't you? That's awesome, love that. Who else makes homemade goodies to take to their neighbors or their friends? I would love to know what you making. Mine has, well, I'm going to show y'all these. This is what mine look like. Yep, and I'll be posting a video of that later. So stay tuned to the page if you want to see the video and what the recipe is. Anyway, let's see what other people are doing today on this Saturday. Who else is Christmas baking today? Hey, Amber. Prayers for the sinus. Oh, bless your heart. A sinus infection stinks. Not literally, just I, I, they're, they're, hate, I hate, they're, they're hateful, I say. I catered a party last night. Melt in your mouth chicken was a hit. Oh, good. Opa, that sounds delicious. Thanks for letting me know. So they like the melt in your mouth chicken. Yeah, that's a great recipe, and it literally does almost melt in your mouth because it's very, very tender. Hey, Lily Donnell, how are you? Merry Christmas to you, and let's see. Hey, Summer Griffin, nice to see you on here, and let's see here. Amy says, home with granddaughter. Both of us have, oh, Amy, I'm sorry. The flu seems to be going around again. It's that season. You feel better. Take good care of yourself so you can feel better. Anyway, let's see. Jacqueline says, hi, and Merry Christmas. Hi, and Merry Christmas to you too, Jacqueline. I hope everybody's having a good holiday season so far. 
some people said they're sick. They'll get to feeling better and be able to enjoy the rest of the holidays. Hey, Cheryl, nice to see you. Merry Christmas to you too, Gay. Thanks for tuning in. And hey, Cindy, thanks for tuning in. And let's see. I'm still drinking my coffee from this morning. I've warmed it up about six times. Anyway. Hey, Robin, good to see you. Thanks for watching. And Summer, Merry Christmas to you too. Rebecca, Merry Christmas to you. And Mary, Mary Fleming, Merry Christmas to you too. I'm going to clean up this kitchen. I will be making cookies for our gathering after our Christmas Eve candlelight service. Nice, Wanda. I hear you. If y'all have a favorite Christmas recipe, send it in to my email address at cookingcuttingup at gmail. We'll post it on the page for other people to enjoy. Yeah, having a hot cup of tea and doing a puzzle. Oh, that sounds relaxing, Linda. I'm going to try to read my book this afternoon uh, after I finish my bacon. We are reading Nantucket, Hotel Nantucket. I think it's called Hotel Nantucket. That's our new read. You got some cute, li oh, well, thank you. I think I got these at the Walmart. Mm -hmm. And they're very comfortable. And I wanted to be very comfortable doing my bacon today and read my book. Anyway, I'm going to hop off of here. Thank you, as always, for following along. I hope y'all enjoy the recipes that I've posted for that I'm doing for Christmas gatherings and that sort of thing. Please send in your favorite to cookingcuttingup at gmail.com. And we will see you guys soon. Have a wonderful day and happy Saturday to you too, Susan. Bye now.